Well, welcome back. Good morning. Welcome to another exciting episode of Art with Mr. Johnson. I hope you've been having fun with our projects. Today we have another fun, easy one for you today. Well, I've been driving around looking at the bay, seeing all the boats down there, and it got me thinking, how about we do an art project with boats? So, today we are going to make a nice little sunset with a boat. So easy, so fun, looks so cool. You're going to love it. What are you going to need? As always, you will need a work mat. Some crayons. A Sharpie or a pencil. If you have it, watercolors. A cup of water. Oh, there's no water in mine. Gotcha. And a paintbrush. The paintbrush comes with the watercolors. If you don't have the watercolors, don't worry about it. If you do, even better. All right, remember, if I go too fast, you can always pause the video or back it up, see what's happening. I think you're gonna like this one. Give me a second to get ready and we'll get started. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. You can't see me, but I'm here. Hello. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need yellow, dark blue or light blue, your choice. Dark orange, red, uh, it's called red orange or regular orange. That's all your choice and your Sharpie. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw what's called the horizon line. That's where the sky meets, in our case, the water. So I'm just going to make some little wavy, like they're like W's, wavy lines across the water. Now, we're going to go back and color that in later. Next, I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to make my boat and my island and my palm tree. So, just off to the side, I'm going to make a curvy line and it's gonna stop at the water. And then I'm gonna make, that's my little rock on the side of the water. And I'm gonna make a palm tree. Real simple, just a curvy rainbow line this way and this way. Don't go up too tall because we need to make the top of our tree. So just one and then bring it back. Now, I kinda of made mine a little close to the edge of the paper, but that's all right. We're gonna make little curvy lines coming out for the branches. One. Now, here we go. Make them kind of fill in the space. They can be a little bit longer this way. And since I have more space over here, I'm gonna come over like that. Now to make the leaves, they're also called fronds on the palm tree. I'm just gonna make little diagonal lines and I'm gonna make them shorter closer to the trunk of the tree and longer as I get far away. So watch this little, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And the same thing on the other side. So like little V's that just get longer and longer. They're not perfect, don't worry about it. We're just having fun. I'm gonna do the same thing on each of these. Just little lines, little curvy lines. If some are longer or shorter, that's all right. But try to make them longer as you go. And here's a little trick. If you want to go back and fix it, you can just go over it. Here we go. Coming in. So I'm going to do the same thing on each one. So remember, like, like these. And if they cross over, that's okay, because in real life, the leaves cross over each other. It's not perfect in real life. On this one, I just started a little bit further up so it wouldn't be just a big scribbly mess. Oops, I need a few more there. Okay, looks kind of cool. Now with my Sharpie, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna color this in. If you have watercolors, and you wanna wait and paint this in with black, super cool. If you don't have the watercolors, use your Sharpie and carefully 
shade this in. Here's a word we're going to learn today. It is silhouette. Silhouette is basically when you can't see the details, but just the outline, the dark outline, like it's in shadow. Ours is going to be kind of, it's kind of like it, getting close to nighttime and the sun's not shining on it. So we're just going to see the silhouette of our tree. And the same thing for our rock over here. Remember, hopefully you have a work mat, so if you go over, you don't get Sharpie on your table because that will be a big mess. That's why we use our work mats. So we're just going to shade in this rock here. That's why I didn't make the rock very big. If your rock's really big, oh well, guess you're going to be coloring a little bit longer. But that's okay. More art time equals more fun time. Here we go. And if it's not perfect on the water, that's okay. Here we go. Color that in. If I see any spots I missed, go back and cover them up. All right, so our palm tree is done. Now, next we're gonna make our boat. On the padlet, I put a couple of, of examples of how to draw some boats in silhouette. You can go back and look at those, or you can do what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you a super easy one. Super easy sailboat. Now this is gonna kind of be on top of the water and a little bit below the water because it sits inside of it. So I'm gonna make a little diagonal line right there. Then I'm gonna come over here about the length of my finger and make another diagonal line going the other way. All right, next I'm gonna connect the top and the bottom. Pretty easy. Now I'm gonna make a little rectangle right here. And next I'm gonna make a pretty big triangle for the sail. So the easiest way to do this is to draw a line across and then we go up kind of to the middle, so to see how it goes. That's like the middle right there. And if it's crooked, who cares? We're just having fun. Come back down. There we go. Simple, simple sailboat. Like I said before, if you have watercolors, you can paint this in black with your watercolors. If not, I'm just gonna use my Sharpie right now. So we're just going to fill this in best we can. <laughs> Somebody's outside the window making a lot of noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> it's getting hot today, so I had to open the window. It's supposed to be real hot this weekend. Be a good day to be out on a sailboat, huh? Splashing around in the water. Maybe you'd see some fish, or a dolphin, or a whale. Maybe a mermaid. I don't think you'd see a mermaid. But you never know. All right, there we go. There's the top of my sail. Then I'm gonna color in this part. Remember, this is silhouette, so this is gonna be shadow. And you'll see why this is cool after we add in the color of the sky and the water. So I'm just going to fill this in. And remember, if I miss a part, I can always go back and fix it. Let's see, I'm going to purposely going to leave some empty spaces to show you what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, I missed some. So I just go back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fill in all those little spaces. Oh, I went over a little bit. If you, here, I'm going to show you some, a little cool trick. Say you went over too far and you messed up. No problem, all you have to do is just make your bottom of your boat a little bit bigger. And 
and now you can't see that part where you went too far. That's the fun part about art. If you make a mistake, you just fix it and maybe it comes out even better. All right, so I'm done with the Sharpie. I'm gonna set that aside. Now, here's the part where if you have watercolors, you can do this all with watercolors or you can do it with crayon and go over it with watercolors. Since I'm not gonna work with the watercolors right now, I'm just gonna show you how to do this with color. So I'm gonna take a blue and I'm just going to go this way and fill in my water. Same thing if there's some white in here, you don't need to worry about that too much because I don't know if you've ever been out in the ocean, sometimes there's little white parts too. So I just wanna do, I'm not pressing super hard, use my work mat to go to the edges. You see, I'm not pressing really hard. I'm going sideways and not too heavy. Then I go to my boat. And the cool thing is, since this is so black, if you color onto the boat, you'll never know. So now it looks like the boat's sitting in the water. So I'm gonna go back and now sort of fill this in, get the spots that I missed. And fill in these little top parts of the waves. Well, that's funny. Look, I have two different blue crayons, and I use the darker one to make the top of my water, but I use the lighter one from down below. So, just for fun, I'm gonna take the other darker blue, and I'm just gonna kinda scribble in here too. Just not too much but enough to mix it up a little bit, so it's not so boring. I'm gonna do the same sort of trick up in our sky too. We're just gonna sort of just mix in two colors. All right, looks great. Love that water, I wanna go jump in it right now. Now for my sky, because <clears throat> this is sunset, it's getting dark, we're going to use warm colors. We use the cool colors, the, the blue, for the water, but we're gonna use the, the warm colors for the sky. And since the sun is going down, it's gonna be darker, closer to the water, and then lighter as we work our way up. So just to show you, I mean, I'm gonna start with the yellow, which will be the, the top part. Once again, you can color over the Sharpie work. So I'm just gonna use some yellow for the top of the sky. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go about maybe the length of my pinky. And just scribble it in. Same, ooh, same thing. Maybe I need to go a little bit darker up there. The yellow is hard to see, so I'm gonna press a little bit harder with this one. So you can see it, and then when my work is done, I can see it. All right. Now I'm gonna take the lighter orange, kind of do the same thing. And I wanna go into the yellow, I want it to mix. And so I'm just gonna do the same thing going across. And I'm gonna fill in these white spots here in the middle. So it looks gradual, so it looks like the sky is sort of just changing colors. And I don't want these lines to be perfect. I want it, do you see how it like, kind of comes up and down? Because the sky is not perfect lines. Now I'm gonna do a little more yellow just to mix it in here. Go over the trees. Because <clears throat> this is what we call the foreground. This is what's in front. The sky is the background. That's what's in back. So. We can color over our silhouette of our tree. It won't change that any. So I just keep my yellow coming through here. Just color over the boat, that's fine. So 
With watercolors, you would just paint a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, <clears throat> and the, the watercolors can mix in with each other. That's fine, they do a good job of that. Now I'm gonna take my darker orange, kind of come through. Same thing, I'm just going up over the yellow. Because the yellow is like the, the bright sunlight coming through the clouds, or through the sky. There's no clouds here, silly Mr. Johnson. And I think what I'm gonna do is when I'm done with this, is maybe go back with some more yellow. We'll see here. I'm gonna kinda of come, I want the really dark, so I'm gonna press a little bit harder close to the water. If you go into the water, that's okay. Cause the light of the sun touches the water. Don't go all the way down deep into the ocean, but just a little bit over is okay. Right to my boat. This is looking cool, we're almost done. I told you this was easy. All right, come back with some more yellow, fill that in. If you ever notice, like when you look at the, down into the bay, as the sun's going down, it's really these colors. <clears throat> Not exactly, but they're the warm colors of the sunset. So I just color over the boat. It doesn't matter because you can't tell. <clears throat> this is looking so good. I love my little boat. I wish I had a boat to go out on. That would be so fun. Only boat I ever had was in the bathtub when I was little. But that was fun. All right, there we go. Can you believe it? Look how cool that is. You did it. All right, what a great job. Who would have thought that was so easy? So here's a picture that we made. One thing I wanna talk about real quickly is our last picture that we made was super cool too, by the way, good work. Now, on these, you notice we colored in all of the shapes one color. Everything was one color, looks super cool. Today we tried something new, we blended our colors. Ooh, say blended. It's like mixing a pot, Make, you're gonna make some cookies, You've got a bowl and you mix. We blended our colors. So instead of just blue, we use light blue and dark blue. For our sky, we used yellow, light orange, and dark orange, and we mixed them, and it's a whole new look. It adds a whole lot more to our pictures. Oh, kind of like we did on the lion's mane also. That's over there, I don't think you can see it. Let's see, I put that one on the wall. Yep, there's our lion right there. So, you can blend your colors, your warm colors, and your cool colors to make new colors. So you go, oh, Mr. Johnson, I only have eight crayons. Well, guess what? When you mix them, now you have a whole bunch of new colors. Super cool trick, easy, fun, you did it. Well, I hope you liked it. We'll see you next time. Bye.